Hey, welcome back this morning. We're at Hebrews chapter 1, verse 22. And let's see what happens now. Then Pharaoh commanded all his people, saying, Every son who was born you were to cast into the Nile, and every daughter you were to keep alive. He's talking about every Hebrew male child. The command was kill them. The midwives, he tried to enlist the Hebrew midwives on his side. That didn't work out. And now they're just thriving, and there's uh, there's plenty of, plenty of, of Hebrews and more coming. So Pharaoh now commands his whole nation. We're all going to be baby killers, every last one of us. When you see a Hebrew male baby, you make sure it's killed. Now think what it would mean to become a nation of baby killers. Now, Pharaoh seems to have thought this out, and he believes that you know Hebrew male babies should be killed. So look at the decree again. Every Hebrew male son is to be cast into the Nile, the Nile, the, the big river. That's Egypt is built on that. That river is, is all their water, their life, their crops. Everything is connected to the Nile. It's quite closely connected. And so he's going to make the Nile an instrument of death. The Nile brings life to the Egyptians, but the Nile is going to mean now death to the Hebrews. And notice again that it was just the males. You see, Pharaoh is anticipating and he's trying to preempt. He's trying to uh, stop it from even beginning to happen. He's trying to prevent any kind of rebellion. And so he's looking to the, the male Hebrews, the, when the, they were the ones that are physically strong. You know, a man is, generally speaking, a man is, has 40% more upper body strength than a woman. That's quite an extraordinary, I mean, this is what science tells us, quite an extraordinary difference in strength. Pharaoh may not have that 40% figure, but he knows if, if there's any rebellion that's going to come, it's going to be because of those men. Well, you know, let's keep, keep watching what happens in chapter 1 and chapter 2 here, because basically all the rebellion that's going to happen up until we get to Moses, it's all the ladies. The ladies are going to resist. And where are the men? I guess the men are out making bricks. So now Pharaoh is in, in de demanding that his whole nation join him in defying God. Now, I think we talked about this, right? God's plan was to bless the descendants of Abraham. God's plan is to multiply them and bless them and make them fruitful in the land. And Pharaoh's plan is to kill and destroy and, 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 and all that. So Pharaoh has placed himself in opposition to God. It's like, he, it's like God is all-powerful and Pharaoh has stepped into the ring and kind of like a really skinny, scrawny, uh, uppity looking guy and he says hey i'm going to take god on <laughs> and and he's inviting his whole nation to join him in taking god on and you know it's sad but i believe it's true more often than not people just kind of go along with what they're told to do i mean three years ago you know people were telling us go you know go stand on this dot i, I you and i we've all stood in the store stood in the department store and looked down and there's the dot you're supposed to stand on the dot so many feet apart from the next guy and humans tend to do that. We just tend to comply. Go stand on a dot. Yes, sir, we stand on the dot. And, you know, you and I, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, well, those guys, those, those camel guys, you know, of course, they, uh, they're messed up. But we're, we're advanced today. We would never do that. We're strong. And, 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 yeah, three years ago, we were standing on dots. Yeah. So don't think it's going to be a lot different at the end of time. When the state comes along and says these people are bad people because of this, this, and this, uh, address it. A lot of people are going to go right along. They're going to just do what they're told, just like a lot of the Egyptians did. But what about our hearts, your heart and mine? Are we measured? Are we ready? Do we recognize that we could very easily be somebody who is told to stand on a dot and does it, told to kill somebody and does it? Because, hey, the government told me to. And all the governments are commanded by God and so on, supposedly, right? So when we get to the end, what about the time when believers in Jesus are identified as those who are troublers of Israel, those who are causing trouble and mayhem, and uh, said, you know, take those people and kill them. What's it going to be? Because this is a national death decree, and at the end of time, there will be a global death decree. So take stock of your heart right now and make sure that you're willing to resist. You know, I hope you have some of the spirit of the Hebrew midwives in you. I hope I do, because so far, the resistance is coming from a direction Pharaoh does not expect. See you tomorrow morning.